Chuck E. Cheese has gone too far. If you guys haven't been up to date on the Five Nights of Fun situation, it's been something going around Twitter slash X, <laughs> have to say this now, showing how Chuck E. Cheese is kind of doing a parody or a ripoff of Five Nights at Freddy's, calling their new Halloween event called Five Nights of Fun. It'll be starting from October 9th to October 13th. But some papers like to say that it's actually going to be starting on October 27th, the exact same day the Five Nights at Freddy's movie premieres. And now thanks to Kip on Twitter, we have even more new updates for it. Like this brand new paper given out to all employees about different things, what to do, and also when the event or party is going to start, saying it's only valid for the October October 27th. You already know that's the same day the movie premieres. And as you guys can see, it says the winner is selected slash contacted on October 16th, and the party's only valid for October 27th, same night as the movie premiere, as you can definitely see. And then on the whole entire question slash follow ups, they have a whole message here that is literally just like a phone guy message from Pines of Freddy's. It says, Hello, hello. Hey, you're doing great. Most people don't last this long. That does not sound anything like Chuck E. Cheese. That sounds just like Finance of Freddy's, like you're starting up a new night. Since you're still here, we need to warn you that there's no place to run and exactly one place to hide. Be sure to keep the fright to a minimum so our little guests can enjoy the spirit of Halloween safety. Our little guest, yeah, the little kids, you know, <laughs> this is all for kids. And if you thought that, you know, that's already bad as it is, since it seems like they're replicating the phone guy, Chuck E. Cheese on our website has added this new tab saying, what are the offers on FNOF? If you guys know what that stands for, it's Five Nights of Fun, not Five Nights at Freddy's. You can see the A is now replaced with an O, and they even use the abbreviation, kind of like how FNAF even does, just them pushing this a little bit more farther now. So yes, if you think things also cannot go a little bit worse, this is not about Chuck E. Cheese and what they're doing, but this is some people actually doing this. They're putting in papers of Five Nights at Freddy's or taking photos with the whole little Chuck E. Cheese photo machine and leaving it there. And also there have been some messages of the, uh, you know, people harassing the employees like we definitely want to say do not do that do not harass the employees just like this twitter user said please do not do this you know it's the c ceos or whatever it's called the people at the top who are actually doing this not the people working there you're just causing them a lot more trouble so Please don't do this, guys. And also, one thing I forgot to mention in my last video that I did on this. In my last video, I was able to get around 69,000 views in the first 24 hours, being my most successful video in the first 24 hours ever made. So, thank you guys so much for support on that. And that video gives you a more in-depth, you know, description of Five Nights of Fun. It explains about the brand new poster and how it's mimicking the movie. And also, it explains this. This do say and what not to say and what to say to all the employees there so every employee has to follow this list and have to say things here and cannot mention anything about the movies and also we do know this is actually official and an employee did actually reply on my video so don't check that video out it's the other one and he actually made a whole pin message and multiple people have been saying this is real and many employees do have to actually follow this what happens when they break the rules is something we sadly do not know and i don't think we want to find out if it involves getting stuffed in a suit of an animatronic that would be terrifying speaking of some things. Many people in my comments have actually been saying that the animatronic and Chucky Cheese have been removed, which we have, I think, known that it's been getting removed from like the TV dancing floor, as you guys have been saying. But people are saying the reason is because they don't want it to be as similar to Fines and Freddy's. And we do know that Chucky Cheese hates Fines and Freddy's. Since on the Twitter, like I said in my last video, they've been blocking and banning anyone that says Fines and Freddy's in the comments. And they even turned off replies now just so you cannot try. FNAF, FNAF at all. So they know what they're doing. They hate FNAF, yet they're in, like doing all this. They're doing the whole Fines of Fun, doing parodies. It looks like a Fines of Freddy's parody, and it's like they want to do this to get more money because of the movie, but also they don't want to do it because, you know, they hate FNAF, and it's not a good image for their brand, I guess. So yes, I also forgot to mention this in my last video in the poster, and also the whole description of Five Nights of Fun. It says here, Chucky Sheets himself, and maybe even a special appearance by everybody's favorite purple guy, Mr. Munch. And we all know Fines and Freddy's has purple guy, so them putting that there is just another stab in the coffin that I forgot to even mention last video. So you guys can let me know in the comments below what do you guys do think. Are you going to be going to Five Nights at Fun? What even is Fines and Fun? Well, my last video explains it. Definitely 
pretty good. And thank you guys so much for all the support right now. It so far reached over 96,000 views at the time of editing and recording this. So thank you guys so much. Cannot thank you guys enough. And yeah, if you want to stay tuned for more updates of this, definitely do subscribe. I only be doing videos if there's any new big updates. And I feel like we will be getting more updates. So yeah. In my last video, I said, did find, did they copy Find for Hades? And it was kind of a question since some people knew, some people didn't know. But this video just puts the last nail in the coffin. They definitely know what they're doing and they do not want to admit it, but they're still doing it for a reason. Most likely money, because that's why people do things. But we don't know if there's any other ulterior motive. So anyways, yes, that's what they did. And Chuck E. Cheese has officially gone too far. This is too much. What's their next step? We have no idea.